Today's world addresses many challenges, one of which significantly affects the logistic area is decarbonization. In transport sector, we are currently at a crossroads, exploring potential solutions while acknowledging potential issues that lie ahead. One promising solution that we believe will help us achieve emission-free transportation is adoption of electric transport. Electric transport has come a huge way when you look from, from years ago till today, because now today we are able to, to run ranges up to 250 and 300 kilometers, which is much better like it has been years before. Still, the charging facilities we need to improve. We need to find a way how we do the optimal charging and how we do the optimal payload on this one. If you look at the emissions from an electric truck, 90% of the sustainability impact come from the use phase. We know that during production, the emissions are slightly higher for electric trucks, but during the use phase, which is 90% of the total emission and, uh, and the sustainability impact during lifetime, is significantly less because the energy uh, engine is more efficient and we also have the energy mix in Europe which is beneficial for the environment. In terms of e-mobility being, being a solution then, so we see that approximately 25% of emissions globally are from transportation and the fact that electric vehicles have zero tailpipe emissions make it a, a, an obvious choice. The electrification solution, however, has its challenges, such a lack of infrastructure. To transition smoothly to electric transportation, we need to work on solving these issues already today, as the need for charging stations and maintenance facilities for electric vehicles is immediate. This is the one of the reasons why the path to decarbonization cannot be taken alone. There is a high-level collaboration needed in between all stakeholders, customers, solution providers and logistics operators. A perfect example of unlocking the full potential technologies and overcoming any obstacles that come up is our collective effort with Nestle, Volvo, Schmitz Cargo Bull and BP Pulse. So we see the partnership as immensely valuable. It kind of epitomizes how we operate and how we see this whole industry accelerating. It can't be done alone, we need partners in this. Like BP, Geoteca are industry leading. They're willing to take that bold first step. I think it's important that this cannot be done only alone with uh, companies like ours or, or with providers. This has to be a full initiative, so we need to involve governments at the early stage to get also their support for, for what we want to do. Introducing a fully electric solution for the road transport is a pioneering approach that has never been tested on a large scale before. It is a significant step towards sustainable and responsible road transportation. Moreover, by integrating both electric truck and trailer, we are pushing our boundaries of what's currently possible in electric transportation, showcasing a commitment to innovation and environmental stewardship. For decades, Volvo trucks have had a holistic view on producing trucks. First of all, an electric truck is of course a zero uh, tailpipe solution, meaning that it's not coming CO2 out of the truck when it's driving. On top of that, we are using renewable uh, materials in the truck. And for example, the truck behind me is produced with zero emission steel. So the steel that is in the truck is produced without using CO2, or is at least CO2 neutral. Currently, cost of electromobility are very much dependent on cost of batteries. So the biggest question mark for any business case is how much do I have to invest versus what is the outcome. If shippers are not ready to pay more because goods are transported in an electric reefer, then it gets critical. Payoff need to come by the operation itself. That's why we have decided to reduce the battery capacity. It can safely guarantee operations for minimum five hours, but it doesn't cost as much as you have a bigger battery pack that also reduces payload. So where economy is very much critical. Electric trailers are on the road already. We launched these trailers on the IIA. So we are pretty confident that also with a little bit push from legislation, which takes place in countries like the Netherlands very strongly, that every day the number of fleet of electric trailer is growing. 
Electric trucks have a lot of advantage, a lot of positive things. You don't have the diesel, you don't have the CO2, the noise is much less than it has to be before. So it's a no-brainer once we get the technology into place that this is the best way how we can move forward from here. That's important. But at the end, now it becomes a very reasonable way of transportation, though we are looking for this. And once we solve the infrastructure, which I'm sure we will build in the next years, everything is a very future-looking initiative. We know that if you look at all the goods in, in Europe, 45% is actually traveling less than 300 kilometers per day. And this is also a range that we easily can handle today without charging. If you then uh, charge, you will have significantly longer range. Uh, that means that we have examples of our trucks actually running up to 640 kilometers per day with some top-up charging uh, during the day. Charging takes uh, 90 minutes from 0 to 80 percent, but in many cases you only charge from 30 to 80 percent during the day, and that means that, that you can do during a scheduled breaks of uh, 45 minutes. A tailored made solution that combines electric truck with electric trailer unlocks such a benefits as enhanced collaboration, significant environmental impact, and industry leadership. These are the factors that made it possible to offer comprehensive zero-emission transport solution making the real impact on environment and bringing sustainable goals into practice. We have, together with Giteca and Volvo Truck, have a relationship for many years delivering uh, many trucks. Last year we celebrated trucks number 10,000 delivered to Giteca. And this is really based on a partnership. We have grown our companies together and we have developed the way of transporting together. We see Giteca is a big company. They have big muscles when it comes to data technology and collecting data. And by that we can together see how, how customers in reality are driving, getting uh, together the developed the way of transporting. And right now we are standing in front of a new chapter where we as partners together have started developing how can we transport goods with electrical trucks. And we have already delivered the first electrical truck to Giteca and we are looking forward to deliver many more. Open dialogue is fundamental in collaboration. It ensures that all parties involved in the process are on the same page. Firstly, collective action and shared commitment among such a diverse yet synergetic partners as Nestle, Volvo, Schmitz Cargo Bull, BP Pulse and Girteca underscore the necessity to act together. Secondly, the most significant aspect of this collaboration is development of tangible and impactful solution. A joint effort is key to co-creation, leading to sustainable and long-lasting changes in the logistics and transport sectors.